This is a Rainbow Workbook lesson for English First Additional Language, Grade 3, Term 1, Lessons 9 and 10. In this lesson, the topics of focus are reading and books. Sing along. It's time to sing. Hello, everyone. Are you ready? Good singing, everyone. Shall we sing that song again? Listening, reading, writing, spelling and counting. Listening, reading, writing, we all love school. Listening, reading, writing, spelling and counting. Listening, reading, writing, we all love school. Word play. Hello, learners. Who likes to listen to stories? Reading is such fun. Today, we're going to learn words about books and reading. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you about books and ask you some questions. We find books in a library. Tell me, grade threes, where do we find books? Yes, we find books in a library. There are all sorts of books. We get story books, books about animals, and books about sport. Can you name two kinds of books? That's right. We all like to read about different topics. When we enjoy a story, we can take it out of the library. This means we can borrow it or take it home to read. After a week, we take it back to the library. Say, this is an exciting book. I want to take it home. It's lovely to read an exciting story and to tell your friends about it. How do you tell your friends the name of a book? Let's pretend you have to read a book called The Little Elephant. You would say, the title of the book is The Little Elephant. Now you try. Grade threes, what's that book called? Thanks for telling me. We call the person who writes books an author. Let's pretend that Pat Brown wrote the book. How would you answer the question, who is the author of that book? You'd say, Pat Brown is the author. Now you try. Grade threes, who wrote that book? Well done, everyone. Now we know lots of words about books. Sentence play. English has a little punctuation mark called an apostrophe that shows us who owns things. Can anyone tell me what it's called?
That's right. The little apostrophe is very helpful. It can show us possession. Possession means who owns something. I want you to draw a girl. Great. Now write the little girl's name at the bottom of your picture. Her name is Pam. Now draw a dog. Write puppy at the bottom of your picture. The puppy belongs to Pam. She owns it. Now you say, the puppy belongs to Pam. Good! Now write that down. The puppy belongs to Pam. Well done! Now write this down. Pam owns the puppy. Listen carefully and repeat. Pam owns the puppy. It is Pam's puppy. Did you hear the s sound at the end of Pam? Good. That s sound is important. Now write down, this is Pam's puppy. Remember, we need to add an apostrophe to help us know who owns the puppy. Where do you think it should go? Your teacher will show you. Watch and then add it to your sentence. Excellent! Let's practice some more examples. I see your teacher's table. Say, the table belongs to my teacher. It is my teacher's table. I see a bag. Say, the bag belongs to Sam. This is Sam's bag. Try, Ken owns the book. This is Ken's book. Fantastic work! Now practice some more examples with a friend. Sound play. English is a funny language. Sometimes the same letter can have different sounds. Today, we're going to learn about the different sounds the letter U can make. Listen to these two words and then say them back to me. Push, bus. Can you see that both these words have the vowel sound U? Now listen to the words again. Push, bus. Can you hear that the same letter has a different sound in each word? Let's say them together slowly. P, U, SH, B, A, S. In push, you can hear a short U sound. Say it again and listen carefully. Push. In bus, 
You can hear an ah sound. Say it again and listen carefully. Bus. Let's try say these words. Put, hat. Isn't English tricky? Both words have the U vowel in them, but it sounds different in each word. Listen again. P, U, T, H, A, T. Now say, full and fun. Well done! Try this sentence. I love to run in the bush in the sun. Listen to these three words. Run, sun, bush. Which one doesn't belong? Yes, bush has the short u sound, and sun and run have the a uh sound. Say this sentence. A cow gives milk, but a bull does not. Listen to these two words from the sentence, bull and butt. Which one has the u sound? That's right. So which one has the a uh sound? That was well done. Playtime. We're going to play a game. Are you ready? When we speak, we ask questions about things that are happening now, we ask questions about things that will happen in the future, and we ask questions about things that have already happened. In this game, you need to listen very carefully and tell me which sentences are about things that have already happened. You need to spot the past tense. Do you think you can do that? I know you can. You are such clever children. Let's start. Can you hear the difference between these two question sentences? Listen carefully. On what date do the children go to the library? And question number two. On what date did the children go to the library? Listen again and tell me which words change. On what date do the children go to the library? On what date did the children go to the library? That's right. Do is in the present tense and did is in the past. The word did tells us that the visit to the library is over. So the past tense sentence is on what date did the children go to the library? Now you say, on what date did the children go to the library? Listen carefully. What day of the week is it? And what day of the week was it? Listen again and tell me which words change. What day of the week is it? What day of the week was it? That's right. Is changes to was. Which sentence is in the past tense? Listen again. What day of the week is it? 
What day of the week was it? Good listening. What day of the week was it? We use did and was to ask questions about events that are over. They have finished happening. Listen again. Did the children go home at three o'clock? Do the children go home at three o'clock? Which sentence is the past tense? Yes. Did the children go home at three o'clock? You are so good at this. Listen again. Which sentence is in the past tense? What day of the week is their visit? Or, what day of the week was their visit? Good. What day of the week was their visit? And now try this one. What kinds of books are in the library? Or what kind of books were in the library? Yes, what kind of books were in the library? Listen again. Which one would you choose? Are there animal books and adventure books in the library? Or were there animal books and adventure books in the library? Yes, were there animal books and adventure books in the library? Super work, children. Now work in pairs, which means with a friend. And make up two question sentences of your own, one in the present and one in the past. Your teacher will help you. Then ask the class to decide which of your sentences is in the past. Have fun!